hello everyone and today we are going to learn how we can create something draggable like this and you could see i can place it wherever i want and it is limited to this box only so you could see like this it looks nicer and this is the design that i came up with i wanted to create i wanted to create it uh, or extend this design even further but i decided to stop here and then maybe in the future i'll create another design which in in a similar structure but basically this one you could get it as a template if you want to have like this design the same design itself and i'll add the link of the template in the description but how about we learn how we can create this draggable effect okay and it is fully responsive so you could check it out so one thing i want you guys to know that the draggable effect i am using gsap for this and again if you are not familiar with gsap it is a javascript library and even if you are not familiar with coding it's okay you would still be able to do this and so you could see that uh, this this is the thing that i'm using draggable it is called draggable and there's like lots of stuff you could drag it around you could spin it around like this you could see and this is one thing that we cannot do that is if i just throw it you could see it just goes around there so if we, if i just throw stuff like this you could see it just glides there so it keeps that momentum but the momentum which is like this inertia plugin it is not free it is paid one so i would not uh, so if you want to have some animations like this where it is like just pushing forward you will you will need to get like gsap pro version but if you just want to have like this effect which is like dragging a simpler one then you could do this and let's get started then so first thing first i'll uh, i'll just create this one i'll just create like a container here around here and then make this let's say 100 vh like this and just inside of this i'll add another container make this full width and then maybe make it like some some like random height okay something like this basically this container which is inside of this would be our bounding box uh, so we will need to add a bounding box else it would go like let's say if, if i didn't add a bounding box this can actually be placed anywhere around here so it is up to you if you want to add the bounding box or not but for like some for like stuff like this where it does not go outside you will need to add a bounding box so this is where we will have our stuff and instead of this we could add anything that we want anything uh, or any stuff that we want so let's see if i add a container another one full width make it small make it like some random height let's give it a color like red color and this one i'll just make it like blue color just so that we could see it okay or let's make it like green color why not so stuff like this so now we can see that this is a red color that we want to move so the next step we will do is we will add an html widget into it so we could add it like this but make sure you do not add inside but you add it uh at the end of this container so around after end of this container so it just needs to be below so let me just remove this stuff and then make it around here i guess and i'll place it below that way my html widget is below this container so so the thing that we are using is like this green box and then this red box right so it's below that you could place it anywhere you could add another container and place it below or you could place after third or four uh, containers but just make sure it is placed below this else it would not work so first thing first we will add our gcap cdn uh, reference but for that we will go to google and then type gcap gsap cdn let's go to that page and then copy the first one like this let's do this let's click on script just type like script like this and this allows us to add javascript we need to give this container a css class so i'll call it like i guess bounding box bounding dash box and then i'll call this one as the drag box like this instead of this if i go to the draggable they actually have uh stuff around there how to do how you can change stuff you, what you could add what you cannot add stuff like this but the easiest way is to just copy this one which is draggable create click here and then type this 
and this one we have given the class of drag box so i'll copy this and then paste it in here and i'll type dot and then do that drag box if you were using id so right now you can see we have we are using css classes but if you are using id if you have if you had typed drag box around here then instead of dot we would have used hash around here okay let's see what happens as soon as i preview it now You could see I can drag it, but you could see it is not being like nicer. It is not being following just as nicely as this one. You could see annoying stuff. And that is because element, it is only going to be issue in Elementor because for some reason Elementor adds like a transition uh, code to all of the elements in it. So we can just overwrite it. So just type style. So basically this would allow us to add CSS and this is our JavaScript. So in here we will type our drag box. So we know this is our drag box. Let's do dot drag box and we will add, add our CSS which is called transition none important. And if we type this important with exclamation mark, it basically overrides overrides the any other value that has been added before. So by default, Elementor adds like this code which is transition all. And then it adds to like every single element in uh, Elementor, which is why this ha this thing happens. You could see it is getting dragged very weirdly. As soon as we do none like this, it is going to override the settings. Let's do preview changes. And now you could see I can just drag it to wherever I want. So I can keep dragging it below like this. I can place it whenever, wherever I want, however I want. But now I want it to be uh, only in this container. So this green container. So if you go into my containers, you could see what I've done in here. I have created like a big container, which uh, which captures like all of this. Instead of this, I have one container, which is called top bar, which is just this top part, this purple part. And then I have a drag container. You could say this pink color, oh sorry, this gray color uh, highlight. And that is the one where I have added the bounding box. I don't remember the code for it so let me just check it okay so to do the bounding box we simply need to do is we need to type comma inside this to open bracket uh, close bracket like this so curly bracket so all i simply did was instead of this i just added comma did space opened and closed curly bracket and then did enter like this and instead of this i can type bounce i think was it called bounce i don't remember so it's called bounce like this and then we simply just add so we type bounce we do this double dot and in uh what you call in single colon or sorry single quotation or double quotation we just add the css class of this one so as we are using class we will type dot instead of hash so let's type dot let's do paste this one around here let's see what happens And now you could see I am not able to drag it outside this container, outside this green box. And it looks really nice, right? And it is not just limited to container. You could actually add anything if you want to add this button, this text, anything that you want. You could just give it the uh, appropriate CSS class and it, it will just work with it. If you want to do this animation, which is like this, rotate. Uh, I don't know how it is done. So let's see it. And you could see it just says we have to just type like type rotation. So if we just type something like so if it go in here, make sure comma, you add comma, type rotation like this. We only add comma once or we only add comma when it is like uh, not the last one. So if there was like any other elements like this, let's say there was also like type uh, let's say inertia or some or like something like this inertia true something like this so you can see that we do not add a comma at the last one we only add the comma to the uh, everything that is not last one obviously inertia true will not work because i do not have the uh, premium version of gsap but this should work like this We have to add it in like double quotation so it should not work like this so let's add it 
uh, one more thing i totally forgot to tell you guys it's very important and that is let's say you added this code and your code is still not working you did all the script try removing this and then see if it works because what would what could have happened is there could be another plugin or theme that has already installed gsap on your website and if that is true then you do not need to reference the gsap again like this so maybe just remove this and see if the code works on the live page if it works without adding this one it means that something else has already added gsap but anything else has not installed gsap then obviously you it would work with this src and if you want to let's say create multiple raggable containers and you decide to create like two html widgets like this so to, to keep it organized just remember that you don't need to add this src again and again you only need to add it once so you could say in that html widget i already have this src added which is like referencing the gsap library and installing it on our website so we do not want to install it again and again and again so once is more than enough and then you could simply just add the code around here with different html widgets so i think that was all oh, i forgot to like test rotation <laughs> very unorganized recording okay so you could see it works i can rotate it obviously i cannot do stuff like this where it just you know if i do rotate and then leave my mouse it will keep like rotating like this because it requires inertia plugin and it is paid one only but we could do some like stuff like this and just not that but actually there's lots more stuff so if you go in here you could actually find a lot more stuff that you could do i think it is at the bottom in type so in here you could see we could do left top rotation x y translate uh, and all of this stuff you could see you could also create like an Im imaginary rectangle and rather than using a bounding box so that you do not have to like uh, create like a different rectangle or a different uh, container every time you could add like values around here and again i'm not going in depth with it because the video would get like way too big but you could see it is it has like lots of different stuff that you could do so yeah thanks for watching if you want to get this template it's in the description and consider liking and subscribing for more and for more tutorials like this and don't forget to use links in descriptions because if you use um, the links in description the affiliate links then you could support me because whenever you use those links i get a small commission from the uh, from like hosting or elementor and you don't pay anything extra you pay the same amount but because i referenced you elementor or hostinger just gives me like a small commission so you are in you are directly supporting me and you're not even paying anything extra you're just paying the same amount so yeah please consider doing that and subscribe so that i reach thousand subscribers so yeah thank you